guys, so we're here this Saturday, Magnolia. You can see it's pretty, pretty muddy out there. Everybody's still getting stuck, just like last night. We had uh, we had an interesting time, as you saw in the video be before this one that we posted, uh, where we got stuck last night, right as soon as we got in here. And there's been people getting stuck ever since then. Uh, Johnny's already got the track cut up. It's, he's had it tilled up. He's been filling the pits up, trying to let it uh, dry out. And it's very hot and humid right now. We got the fan running, the air conditioner running. Uh, so I don't know if you can really hear me or not, but it is super hot and humid. We, uh, I'm gonna give you a shot out the door here. There's people all around the pits here. So, anyways, that's where we're at right now. We're trying to get it. Uh, we got the car up off the ground, trying to let air get up underneath the car, maybe dry the ground out a little bit. Everywhere you go, it's soupy, it's slick, it sticks to your shoes. Uh, so maybe we can get it dried out and have a good night of racing tonight. But you don't see any tracks doing this. I've never been to a racetrack and seen them till it up and do this. I mean, usually they they may run a grader or shoot foot and that's it. One thing about it, it's gonna be fast. Yeah. Well, and the second thing is, Mr. Johnny does not just say, "Oh, you know, what we get's what we get." He tries his hardest to give everybody the best racing service possible. So. He's been working on this thing since about lunch, and it's uh, about 3 o'clock, so he's been working hard. Hey, you know, Logan over there, he's been working hard today, too, making sure the, the TV cameras are in place. Oh, yeah, I see Logan over there. You see him over there with a, it looked like he had a shovel digging up against the wall. Yeah, I didn't know who that was. That's how, that's how Logan gets him. All right, guys, so we are on the lift. Brad's already made a few setup adjustments. We are hoping for a smooth track, but expecting a rough track with all the rain that we've got the last couple of days. So we went ahead and made adjustments accordingly. Um, hoping for a smooth track, like I said, but fully expecting a rough track. If there's somebody that can get us a smooth track, it's definitely Johnny Stokes. He, they don't call him the Dr. Dirt for no reason. One of the best in the business. So. We'll see what kind of track we get later on, but right now we're pretty much sitting on go, waiting on Brad's mom and dad to get here with some lunch. It's uh, 3 40. We haven't eaten it since about 9 o'clock, so we're pretty hungry, but basically we'll be here shortly with uh, some lunch for us. Alright, guys, so we are, guys are currently working on the car. Dustin's getting tires off. Chris is going to put tires on. Brad's checking set up, seeing if there's anything that he needs to make adjustments on. He's already made a couple of adjustments. But working on that, Maggie has um, just been the supervisor. Me and Maggie. We got our merch over here set up. What are you doing, baby girl? Oh, you want your flag? You want your flag? Good job. Okay, go, Daddy. <laughs> go, Daddy. Hey. Hey. Are you daddy's biggest fan? You love your daddy? As uh, Kevin alluded to, it's just taking a lot of moisture over the past week, over the past months. The track has ever, everywhere, it seems like it has. Uh, but I, I know that uh, Johnny Stokes has worked his butt off today, and really all week, trying to give us the best track he can. Um, so, you know, I, if you see him, thank you for how hard he's working. If it's not great, I still thank you, please. All right, plastic wrap is coming off the tire.
Magnolia is off of turn number two. First car on the racetrack here out of, uh, out of Atala, Alabama. That's the 27 of Brad Berry. At Brad Berry, white and black 27 car entering turn number three. Car number six. <laughs> Barry from Rockridge, Alabama, 27 car. It's a capital for the Vincent Race Engine for Fat Daddy Two is the name of the team. Our hammers grading, work speed performance and parts, KT Heating and Air, and Barry Apparel Company all on the side of the 27. Yeah. 
Driver said the car felt good. Car looked awesome. Look at that. Looked the best it's looked all year. Don't you agree, Chris? So I think we fixed our issue. Now we just got to get faster with the motor. Obviously, I'm gonna try to be smart and not just go out there and balls to the wall. But you know, if it slows down and it stays somewhat raceable, I think we're gonna be fine. I mean, we, oh, you done? No, I didn't cut off. I mean, we picked up nine tenths from hot laps of qualifying right there, just on us. Yeah. The track was pretty similar to what it was when we went out there for hot laps, so uh, might have been just a touch slower. I felt like really. We've, we've made some gear changes and we're making another gear change now, so we'll see. All right, guys, so you heard it from Brad. We are 14th fastest in our in our first qualifying group. Brad looked great in the corners, it's just straightaway speed up. But like I said, that motor issues the issue there, of course, but uh, we'll get it. Hopefully, we get our motor before too long. We ain't got that speed issue down straightaway. Yeah, I'm that's where we're getting killed right now, speed. For sure, for sure. Um, but unfortunately, it's one of those things that hey, can't nobody help. Uh, it's, a, it's a manufacturing issue, so nothing on our engine builder. We're just waiting on pistons. So hopefully, we'll have them soon and we'll have our uh, bigger motor. A of Bubba Mullins. Ashton Winger in the 12 inside of row number two with J.R. Mosley in the 99 alongside from Columbus, Georgia. Row number three is Evan Ellis out of Plantersville, Mississippi in the 73 with the 18C of Matt Cooper out of McKenzie, Tennessee alongside. Brad Berry of Atala, Alabama in the 27 inside. <laughs>
on both rear quarter panels. Brad hit a rut coming out of four one time and smacked the wall with the right front and the right rear. Got the spoiler and everything just a little bit. Just hit it wrong. Um, but they brake checked on the initial start and it just was a one of those things where you couldn't, couldn't stay away from it. Um, thankfully we didn't get anything other than a quarter panel. Uh, but it was rough. They were all over the place. All over everybody. So hoping our B-Main's a little bit different. I don't know how we'll start a B-Main. They're only taking two. So we'll see how all that um, rolls around in just a few minutes. But other than quarter panels, I think we're good. I, I thought we may have gotten a tire because it did look like it was rubbing a little bit out there. But tire's still good. Take the air pressure and it's fine. So um, we'll line up just a little bit for a B-Main and hope we can make it in on the last chance. All right, so still working on the quarter panel here. Joel's button there. Brad is looking at the right front here. He thinks he may have bent something, but not 100% sure. He's just double checking. See what we got there. because it is so bad. 
um, the spoiler. You can't even read the spoiler. It's so thick and mud. It's, it's just, it's rough. It's rough. So um, we'll take it and uh, run with it and we'll figure it out and move on to next week and we'll let you guys know. Huh? Hold you. And we'll let you guys know um, where we plan to be next week. I think Moo Girl wants to be in the video. Say hey. <laughs> so and we've had a fun weekend. This is probably the funnest weekend we've had in a long time. Um, racing. Yeah. Katie and Dustin stayed with us. <laughs> we slept in all the air mattresses. They slept in the back of their car last night. So we had a blast. We had a little slumber party out here. We we slept with four of them in our trailer because we about died of carbon monoxide poison last night. That ain't no joke. We'll talk about that later on too. But right now we're probably just gonna get loaded up and we'll head on back to Alabama and get back where we're our bed. It'll be nice to be in our bed versus a uh, air mattress. But thanks to all of our partners, KT Heating and Air, Worst Big Performance Parts, Barry Apparel Co., Fat Daddy's Crew out of Lafayette, Indiana, Hammers Graydon, All South Signs and Graphics by BB Designs, Kinski Racing Shocks, Sports Performance, Vincent Racing, and Brand Transmission. Thanks to all of those guys that make all of this possible for us. Are, but we'll get a word with Brad in just a second. We're definitely not down. We're, we're good. We'll move on to next week and hope it's a better week. Um, but we'll let you guys know what our plans are. Originally, it was to go to Sonoa. Don't think that's going to happen. Um, we're just, we're down uh, financially from this weekend. Didn't make the show, so don't won't make any start money or anything. And then Sonoa is definitely, uh, you got to have a little bit of motor. And we don't have any motor. And we've seen that here at Magnolia. We're good in the corners. We were good in the corners first when we first started it. And then the straightaways, we just have no speed. So. Uh, we'll get a word with Ryan in just a second and uh, see what he thought about it. Alright guys, let's get a word with Brad. We've had a minute to kind of decompress and start getting everything loaded. So let's uh, kind of get your take on things. I mean... Walter Ball, Saturday night drive here at Magnolia Motor Speedway. We're about to start ahead of Jonathan Freeman with the 34 car. I mean, we... Bell Lindsay right there with Fred Moore trying to... You gotta turn the radio off. <laughs> no, I mean, we knew typically when Magnolia gets this type of rain, we knew it typically gets like that. So that's just not our forte. It's not my forte. I can't figure out how to drive a rough track to save my life. So we look like monkeys. Uh, we look like blind monkeys when the track gets rough. Uh, you really didn't. You look good. But that's what I was going to say. If that was typical Talladega, uh, ta if that was typical Magnolia racetrack, smooth, slick, you could race on it, I felt like in the heat race we'd probably made the race. Yeah, you were good in the heat race. Yeah, I mean, we had a lot of good momentum up top until it started getting really, really rough. Once it got it really rough, that's when we started going backwards. So, I mean, I blame that on myself. I'm not making an excuse. I, I, I just don't. We've never had to race on rough tracks, so I don't know what to do. I, I mean, as far as driving the car, adjustments, uh, and then all this rain we've had down here in the south lately, it's just been a, a perfect storm, you know. Maybe June, July comes around, it'll get hot, 110 degrees outside and won't rain, and we'll be able to race, maybe, so. Except we'll be sweltering. Yeah, and then we'll be racing on rubber, so, so you can't ever make nobody happy, but I don't know, I mean, it's, it was fun. We had an adventure this weekend. Got us out of our normal. Uh, maybe we maybe we didn't tear nothing up. I know we went down into one and two at one point, and I thought I was going to end up on my roof. So after that happened, I just got in the bottom and just, you know, I, I really could have pulled off and saved everything, but just got in the bottom and rode. I mean, that's, that's really all I've done, so. Appreciate everyone who come up to us and talked to us and met us and bought merchandise. So uh, that's awesome to see all the support you guys give us. Uh, appreciate everyone who watches on here and comments and, and uplifts us when we have nights like this. And uh, you know, like I said, we're not holding our head down. We knew what we was coming into, and uh, it's part of it. That's like Bradley said. Uh, he said in a message the other day to me that uh, sometimes you're you're the bug, sometimes you're the windshield. That's it. Sooner or later, the it's going to rain and wash the bug off the windshield and we're going to be able to fly away from that windshield so yeah uh right now we've been the windshield for the last couple of weeks so 
or the bug. Just however you want to look at it. <laughs> Anyways, appreciate everyone who helps us out. Hammer's grading, work speed performance parts, KT heating and air, uh, Fat Daddy's crew, All South Signs and Graphics by BB Designs, Gorsuch Performance, Brand Transmission, Penske Shocks, Capital Race Cars. Uh, everyone who comes out with us and helps us turn wrenches or throw stuff on the car. Uh, I'm not sure who pushed me off to go out to the B main, but the car wouldn't crank. So, I think the jumper wire fell. It probably got hit by a clod of mud and it fell off. So, we're going to try to get this thing loaded up and go watch this feature. So, appreciate you guys watching. All right, guys. So, um, also, another quick thing the video from the B main is from my phone, so the quality may not be great on that. The camera that I was videoing with tonight died. Um, Katie's been doing our video, and but tonight I did the video. And, and I used a, a gimbal, so it hopefully it's not as shaky. Hopefully the quality 